All right, let's check out our pH score. First pH is the measure of your soil's acidity. The pH scale is from 1 to 14 with 7 being neutral. Below 7 is acidic and above is basic. Most turf grass like pH, say depending on the varieties, 6, 4 to 7, which is slightly acidic. Why is pH important? Most minerals availability to the grass plane is optimum right around a neutral pH. So you can see having the correct pH is critical. Another small little tidbit about pH is the more acidic, the more bacterial your soil, alkaline, the more fungal dominated, but we'll get into that later. I've talked to so many people that would put down the recommended application rates this soil test would provide, and then the next year they would do another soil test and the pH would be either the same or even lower sometimes. The higher the organic matter and biology in the soil, the more effective your applications will be. Remember, good finished compost should have a pH right around 7, so if your test comes back in your pH of 5 or even 9, you're already beginning to level off the pH just by adding compost alone. The pH scale is measured in logarithms, so the difference between 1 and 2 points away from neutral is huge. Raising your pH level even 1 point can sometimes take a year, sometimes 2. The two most common additives to raise pH are calcitic lime and dolomitic lime. Both work very slowly but are effective. Dolomite also contains 28% magnesium. So this is where we go back to our percent base saturation level on the soil test to determine which one we're going to use. If just the calcium level is low and the magnesium levels are fine, we'll use calcitic lime. If both are low, we use dolomite. Remember, stay true to the 7 to 1 ratio of calcium to magnesium. If both minerals are in proper range and you still need to raise the pH, use one or the other and switch back and forth each time. Lime moves very slowly through the soil, and that's why you don't apply more than 50 pounds per thousand square feet at a time because a pH in the first two inches of soil could be drastically different than that in four inches deep. Several small applications have much greater effect than applying all at once. Once again, soil texture comes into play here. Lime goes through sandy soil faster than clay, therefore it works quicker. Granular lime is easier to use than pulverized lime, but pulverized works quicker. Just make sure you don't use it when it's too windy out, as you can see, it go everywhere. To lower the pH, use granular sulfur. If you need to lower the pH and your magnesium level and potassium levels are low, use sulfate of potassium magnesium. Cotton seed meals are also known to slowly lower basic soils. All of these products should be available in most agricultural or do-it-yourself chain stores. As you can see, most test facilities already give you the recommended application rates with their soil test. Just be aware of the calcium to magnesium ratio in the percent base saturation. If your pH is where you want it but your calcium levels are low, use agricultural gypsum to raise it. Gypsum will loosen up compacted clay soils also. If only the magnesium levels are low, use Epsom salt to raise that. Try to plant accordingly when overseeding your lawn. As I've stated, adjusting the soil does take a while. I'm not saying don't move ahead with your project. But if you're in a cool zone and you know you're going to be renovating late summer, apply the material early spring if not sooner. In warmer areas, if you renovate early summer, try to make the recommended adjustments the previous fall.